and we also talked about um, what they are made up of primarily carbon hydrogen nitrogen sulfur and other minerals and um, we need to know what forms when these carbon hydrogen nitrogen sulfur and other minerals burn and they are primary combustion products primary combustion products are basically what forms when a an element reacts with oxygen so primary products are carbon dioxide carbon monoxide hydrogen and water uh, sulfur dioxide nitrogen oxides and lead uh, when we used to use um, unleaded gasoline and we also you also need to know uh, how these each of these are forming like carbon dioxide how does it form uh, carbon monoxide when does it form how does it form and which are the sources that emit most of these carbon monoxide sulfur dioxide etc etc secondary pollutants and difference between primary and secondary pollutants okay you must be careful about that secondary pollutant is a pollutant that forms after uh, primary pollutants are released and they react amongst themselves or something in the atmosphere and form secondary pollutants and similarly particulate matter you know what sizes they form how they form when they form etc and uh, you also need to know the health and environmental effects of each of these pollutants like CO2, CO, SO2, etc. All these pollutants, health and environmental, what concentrations and uh, concentration. You don't have to remember the numbers or anything, but how does it affect us? And which are the sources that emit these things, as I said? And particulate matter is PM2, and it is classified based on size and which size, you know, particles how they are classified which size are most dangerous as you can see intermediate size particles are the most dangerous one between 0.1 micron and 2 microns in size and also the regional effects of these particles we need to concentrate on um, global and regional effects for example co2 causes global warming or uh, sort of global climate change and so2 and nox cause acid rain etc etc all right, and um, greenhouse effect. What is it basically? You know, what is greenhouse effect definition, or precisely, you know, what happens, and which are the gases that uh, contribute to greenhouse effect? These are the gases that contribute to greenhouse effect. You need to know these, and uh, some of these gases are more powerful than the others. So you need to understand what is global warming potential or GWP. And um, so you need to go through the textbook or your um, notes about CO2 and you know, temperature profiles, you know, how they changed in, in the past, in 150 years and even before that, and what are the reasons for those changes. And as we talked about in the, in the textbook, um, basically, you know, what, or what is responsible for these kinds of changes and pre-industrial concentration and... Uh, concentration right now you know, what it is and uh, reasons for concern and you also have to think about um, natural causes some people argue that it is happening naturally so you need to know what are the arguments that are made for natural as well as human made changes um, global warming what is it and uh, difference between greenhouse effect and global warming and factors affecting global climate change what happens what happens when global uh, climate uh, changes, you know, global temperature changes and sea level changes and um, polar ice caps melt and precipitation levels change, you know, precipitation generally increases um, because there's more cloud cover. And also what is for certain, what is for not certain and feedbacks, feedbacks are like, you know, uh, when low level clouds form, it, it, it can increase actually the um, uh, it, it can reflect the sunlight actually increase this uh, fraction of sunlight that can penetrate through thick clouds and so the pl planet might be cooling down and if the cl higher level clouds form it may be warming up so uh, those are the things that pe we don't know yet completely you know what kind of clouds form so uncertainties and certainties for example um, the great ocean belt conveyor phenomena and so on and so forth and you also need to know what you can do to reduce
potential global warming, individual steps. Uh, in, when I say individual steps, you need to really know which gas, by, by which step, which gas is reduced, not just list those five steps or six steps uh, that you know of. Uh, you know, drive less. That's not an answer. Dr by driving less, I'm going to produce less CO2 because gasoline, when burnt, produces CO2 kind of thing. You know, you have to go to the reasoning part. And acid rain and ozone, acid rain uh, and ozone, how they form, basic chemistry you need to understand, basic chem you don't have to write balanced equations, but what goes into it and how these, uh, under what conditions these things form. Uh, and uh, the gases that are responsible and conditions under which these things form, the difference between wet deposition, dry deposition, and how we measure acid rain on a pH scale, you know, wh what is acid, what is basic, you know, uh, alkaline or basic, how we measure pH, and, um, and also the effects of these acid rain on various things, effects on human health, when we breathe SO2, NOx, what happens, uh, or, or uh, uh, what happens when uh, acid rain falls on soils, um, to vegetation, and aquatic life, for example, fish um, cannot survive at lower pHs and so on. It's a different species. And effects of visibility because uh, acid rain components can form fine particulates which can reduce visibility. And different materials that we care about like monuments, etc., statues, etc. You need to understand those differences. And uh, ozone. Uh, ozone basically two types good ozone and bad ozone so you need to understand why this is called good ozone why this is called bad ozone uh, this good ozone shields us from uv light and because it's far away in the in the um in the stratosphere uh, and uh, this should be stratosphere not um this should be stratosphere not uh, troposphere here and um, global uh, ground level ozone. Ground level ozone is um, um, formed by NOx and VOCs reacting in presence of sunlight. You know, and uh, how does how, why we call this bad ozone? Why we call this good ozone? And um, ozone hull. What is it? You know, uh, is this really a hull, or what? What? What is that? ozone hole why do we call that ozone hole when the concentration goes down below a certain level it can it cannot shield us from the uv rays that are coming from the sun so we call that an ozone hole and what are the and uh, how we are destroying that ozone and causing uh, depletion of uh, o ozone uh, and um, causing the problem of uh, more uv rays coming in and also, you need to understand at the ground level, you know, how the ground level ozone is forming and for, turns into photochemical smog, basic chemistry, what are the reactions that are going in. You don't have to actually balance the reactions or anything, but you need to understand the conditions and what are the uh, reactants that are involved in it. And health and human, you know, on health, uh, health and um, environmental effects, for example, ground level ozone uh, can cause human health problems um, and also it can cause uh, 